There is just something about first-person shooters that are set in Egypt. Maybe it's the thrill of knowing what could happen to you if you went to an Egyptian desert in real life without food and water while running all over the place in the hot sun trying to gun down hordes of monsters. Or maybe it's just because Egyptian deserts are fucking awesome and FPS games set in them often have large levels with plenty of areas to explore and plenty of asses to kick. Today we're playing an Egyptian desert in FPS that isn't serious Sam. Said game is called Power Slave. And we're playing the Sega Saturn port because it seems to be the best version. The maps in Power Slave are not that big as in serious Sam, and they're nowhere near as many enemies. But it's still fun. Okay enough talking about the game, let's play it. The city of Karnak was a shining example of civilization that all other nations could only hope to emulate. Today, Karnak lives on, surrounded by the spirits of the past. However, something has gone terribly wrong. Unknown forces have seized the city, and great turmoil is spreading into neighboring lands. World leaders from all parts of the globe have sent forces into the Karnak Valley, but none have returned. The great power of this new empire is quickly crushing the best forces the human world has to offer. The only known information about this crisis came from a Karnak villager found wandering through the desert miles from his home, dazed, dehydrated, and close to death. In his final moments among the living, the villager told horrifying stories of fierce alien creatures that invaded the city, devoured the women and children, and made slaves of the men. Many of the unfortunate victims were skinned alive or brutally dismembered. Others were subjected to unbearable tortures, injected with strange substances, and then mummified while still alive. According to the villager, even the mummified body of the great King Ramses was unearthed and taken away. You have been chosen from a group of the best operatives in the world to infiltrate Karnak and destroy the threatening forces. But as your helicopter nears the Karnak Valley, it is shot down. You barely escape with your life. With no possible contact to the outside world, you begin your adventure ready to accomplish your mission, praying to return alive. Well, that's the story. There are no difficulty modes. Okay, off we go. Here's our first gun. And here's our first enemy. This is ammo. You can only collect it if you have a gun equipped. What's in these boxes is totally random. Sometimes one of them is explosive, or contains a snake spirit which can hurt you if you're too close. Skull bots are always explosive. <laughs> so the blue spheres give you ammo, and the red spheres heal you if you're hurt.
but sometimes bots contain enemies. Nope, nothing here. Welcome, mortal. I am King Ramses. When my body was made to rest here, my name was not forgotten, and my spirit was blessed in the realm of the dead. For centuries I lived in splendid afterlife, among the most powerful gods of the world. Now, my eternal sleep has been broken by a savage race of creatures known as the Kilmat. These beasts have stolen my mummified corpse and are draining the power from it to use as their own. If they succeed, Chaos will spread across the earth like a terrible wave of fire, burning all living things in its path. The world as we know it will die a painful death. It is you, Great One, that must do justice for the sake of mankind and shun this evil. Seek out the six treasured artifacts that once adorned my tomb, given to me by the most powerful gods of Egypt. They too have been stolen and scattered across the valley, and are highly guarded. These artifacts hold great powers and will help you on your journey. To begin your search, travel to Karnak and cross the high bridge on the east side of the village. Here you will find a great sanctuary that holds the first of the six mighty artifacts. If you happen to lose your way on your travels, return to this tomb, and I will give you guidance. Fear not the power of the Kilmat. Instead, embrace the powers of the Egyptian gods. They will help carry you to victory. Well, now our work is cut out for us. Thought Doom Sound Effect. Makes sense. The monster voices from Doom came from camels. So here we are, in good old Karnak. There's the camel that we rode here. This purple sphere is a weapon power-up. Little bastard. The dogs only take one shot. There are three directions you can take, I'm only taking one, for now. I need ammo. 
Damn it. <laughs> you little fucker. <laughs> Two dogs over here, gotta shoot them quick. Never mind. You cannot get over there right now. This is the key. And here is the M60. This game's SMG. We have a new enemy, Doghead Man. Sorry, I don't know what it's actually called. We need a different key for that door. This key is for another door. Now where are those dogs? That's the key for the door downstairs. This key goes to a door upstairs, outside. Uh. 
watch it. What am I doing? Here it is. We gotta make a jump. Right, gotta go downstairs first. There are two areas in here, there's nothing but some crabs in this one. But this one, is where we need to go. The switch opens the door upstairs. Now we're back here, so we go back up and make that jump again. By the way, if you fall into that green slime, you'll die instantly. Oops, forgot about them. They suck. This opens the opposite door. Right here. In fighting. Nice. Three dogs here. Bitch. Now we just have to collect the jump sandals. Right here. Now we just jump up on this levitating platform and grab what we came for. You have found one of the six sacred artifacts, and your worth as a sturdy slave has been proven to the Council of the Gods. The mighty sandals of Ecomtet give you the strength to leap higher than mortal humans. Use this gift to scale the cliffs in the northwest corner of Karnak. Beyond the cliffs is a steep path that leads to a shrine in the mountains. The artifact hidden in this shrine is a gift from Sobek. God of amphibious creatures. That'll be all for now. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.